Howard and I do concerts in people's homes, and we needed a great piece to really finish that concert off. And so I create by improvising. I just kind of play around at the piano, and I improvise, and then ideas emerge. And this little idea, I just don't know why I pursued it, because it's not very interesting by itself, but I did, and I turned it into this piece, and it just emerged that way. And it got its title later. I didn't have a title at first, but I just kept on seeing this big sea with the sun rising, and that's how it became rising. My cousin gave me a book called um, The Piano Shop on the Left Bank, and it was about this piano restorer who finds old pianos and refurbishes them, and it's about the stories of all the people who own the pianos. And I was turning the page, and I got to this new chapter, and it said Fazioli, and I went, what is that? And by the time I had finished reading that chapter, which was all about the creation of the Fazioli piano, I was just like, this is a dream piano. But it was like just a dream because there was no Fazioli's anywhere to be seen in the west coast of, of Canada. And then Howard here was walking down Broadway and he walked past your store when it was being renovated and being set up and he saw this huge Fazioli sign. And so of course as soon as you opened we came down and we played Fazioli's and that's how it all started. That the touch is amazing. It just, um, it just does whatever you want it to do. And the, um, when you want it to be soft, it's just there for you. And then and when you want to go for a loud sound, all of a sudden it's just like vroom. It's just there all of a sudden. And so it's just, it's, it actually surprises me a lot. It's, you just never know what's going to happen. <laughs>